Shalom, brothers and sisters. So the backlash, the anti-Semitism keeps rising by the hour worldwide, everywhere. And, and it is there if you just look. This is just one of many stories that are taking place all the time. Brooklyn Bookstore faces backlash after cancelling event to avoid hosting a Zionist. I don't even have words on this. I mean, really, can you imagine an author writes a book and there's been a lot of controversial, successful and well-loved authors and they write a book, but they happen to be extremely pro-American, you know, incredibly America for Americans and they love their country. You cancel that event because how dare they? What? Or German that just loves Germany and is all about Germany cancel the event because who the heck do they think they are that's literally what it's like if you believe in a jewish homeland called israel jewish authors book launch was cancelled due to the moderator's support for israel bachman the events moderator recounted the experience on facebook explaining the bookstore cancelled the event because of his pro-israel views this rank and delusional anti-semitism is outrageous, Bachman wrote. What we are now seeing is nothing short of Stalinist or Maoist thinking, a moral flattening of the political sphere, a social movement predicated on loyalty and purity tests that at this point can only tolerate at best one kind of Jew. Powerhouse Arena's owner, Daniel Power, condemned the cancellation describing it as the unauthorized action of a rogue employee. Or was it? It's hideous, it's uncalled for, and it was completely unauthorized, Power told the New York Jewish Week. He pledged to terminate the employee and reschedule the event, emphasizing that the bookstore has previously hosted Jewish and Zionist authors without issue. But here we are, late 2024, the world is collectively everywhere reacting in hatred and absolute evil against anything Jewish and Jew and Judaism and Israel and Zion. And what that is creating within the Jewish community of the diaspora that are still in the other nations is a final collection of their roots and pushing back towards Israel. And again, it's a prophetic event. Because they are all being brought home, kicking and screaming some of them, not wanting to leave their host countries that they have known for generations, but going home because the safest place for them is Israel, which is under onslaught and attack by multiple nations seeking to wipe her out. And yet they find that that place is the only place where they can feel safe because they are surrounded by like-minded Jews who are all together and all feeling this onslaught against them for their destruction. And so they will all be in one place just in time for Daniel's 70th week. The time of Jacob's trouble. Pray for Israel and pray for the Jews and pray for more of them to have a revelation of who Yeshua HaMashiach truly is.